uh, with regard to fine mesh analysis. Uh, we mentioned earlier, I guess Meister has the ability to both do coarse mesh and fine mesh. Um, Meister has two options for the fine mesh analysis. There is an embedded analysis as well as a top-down analysis. Uh, with the embedded analysis, uh, you basically create this fine mesh model and it replaces a section of the hull. Uh, when you do the analysis, the portions of the, the computation within that area are done on the fine mesh and it's passed back and forth uh, to the, the, the coarse mesh model. Um, with the top-down analysis, you basically are solving the coarse mesh model um, and, and ignoring the uh, uh, top-down fine mesh in that area. And then you'll take this global model uh, or the coarse mesh model and impose the boundary conditions from the coarse mesh solution onto uh, the fine mesh and then solve the fine mesh model. Uh, the advantage there is that you can have multiple um, different versions of the fine mesh model using the uh, top-down approach. Whereas with the embedded analysis, you're replacing that portion of the hull. So uh, it's, it's incorporated into the global solution. Uh, so here you can see, I guess, one section of the model, which is the uh, this fine mesh model that's been embedded into the coarse mesh. Uh, it's a little difficult to see, but you can see the uh, mismatch in the um, the fine mesh uh, at some of these boundaries. So they're connected uh, to the overall model using R spline elements, uh, which are interpolation elements to um, uh, I guess compensate for that uh, lack of node to node connectivity at that uh, junction. And I guess the top-down analysis will also use, um, I guess, uh, um, that that same type of R-spline interpolation to uh, apply the the boundary conditions to the the fine mesh model. Uh, with regard to import and export from Nastran, um, Maestro is able to both uh, pull in, I guess, the Nastran models as well as export. And uh, you can export uh, just the fine, you can do the global model or you can just export fine mesh models with boundary conditions um, if that's of interest. Uh, here's a, a couple of samples of the um, export dialogue. So you can see here where you know, Maestro uses this hierarchical um, approach. So you've got this tree view uh, basically within Maestro. The, the main model is under the, the top um, entry in the, in the tree. And if you have uh, fine mesh models um, uh, in your Maestro model, there'll be a separate tree entry for fine mesh. Uh, so you can, depending on which one you select, you can export either your uh, global mesh, um, you know, the, essentially the coarse mesh, uh, or uh, the fine mesh modules. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, you can uh, model corrosion in Maestro. Uh, this is done sort of uh, as a uh, as sort of an additional load pattern. You basically create corrosion groups from your model. You can just grab a, a series of elements and um, uh, create a uh, a group, and then can apply or a corrosion group rather, and then can apply uh, various levels of corrosion um, within that group. Now that can be done at the you know, to the entire group uniformly or you can tailor it and uh, assign corrosions on individual elements. And as you can see in this image, um, you, can you can assign uh, corrosions at the plate, uh, web, and uh, flange level. So you can have uh, different levels of corrosion on the, the plate, web, and flange uh, independently. Uh, but one of the nice things here is that because it's sort of a, uh, an attribute of the element and, and is uh, just considered a load case in the model, you only have to deal with one uh, finite element model, as opposed to if you had different um, uh, corrosion areas and things that you wanted to evaluate, um, if you actually modified the thickness of the plate, you'd have to have maintained separate models for each one of those cases. Uh, one of the other capabilities in Maestro is natural frequency analysis. Um, it can be done in both the, the wet or dry modes. 
uh, when you do the analysis in wet mode, uh, it takes into account the added mass of the seawater um, and automatically applies that to any of the, the wetted elements um, if the model is, uh, uh, you know, if you're uh, doing a model in a floating condition.